Hello, little guys. Here comes the hay delivery. That's their little egg tooth on the tip of their beak. It's what they use to get out of the egg. It'll fall off in a day. Washing up the water container for the new pea chicks that were born last night at 2.30 a.m. We don't let the chicks onto the grass until they're about six months old. They have a high likelihood of developing worms if they're exposed to any grass. They've been in there for 24 hours. Time to take them out. They're all dry. And put it back down on the Yep. Let's Take go a bite pee. of the incubator. And what do you feed them? You feed them 30% uh, turkey starter. You can buy the tractor supply. This stuff. They're so cute. They're so happy. Another thing you want to do when you bring them to their brooder for the first time, dip their beak into the water. That lets them know where the water is. You also mandatory that you introduce them to grandma. <laughs> All right. Here's your brother. Let's do this. It's like me and my brother. What is this? Oh my god, what is it? How beautiful. How beautiful. Day old chicks meet 101 year old. I don't really know anything about peacocks, and I've learned everything I know through my brother, who does peacock research, as crazy and bizarre as that sounds. But he taught me that pea chicks can't bed on shavings um, and should instead be put on mesh wire so that they don't eat their poop because the poop falls through the mesh wire. In this case, you'll see that our pea chicks are sitting on sawdust. So do as he says and not as he does because we had some carpentry issues on our end. Here we go. It's about quarter to midnight. The babies are almost 24 hours old. We're gonna give them a little treat. They're gonna have one of the eggs from our chicken poop. Wow, that was a big piece of egg, friend. Oh. Yay. Yay, good job. So last week, if you recall, we hatched out two pea chicks and one egg was left. One more left. My favorite egg, black shoulder, silver pied, white eye, to be exact. And he actually pipped the next day and here's some footage of him hatching. <laughs> Welcome. Black shoulder, silver pied, white eyed, the one that I wanted. It's right here. I think that they become huge peacocks with beautiful big tails. So we added the third little chick that hatched the day after and everyone got along just fine. You want to keep an eye on them when you introduce a new chick because you never know how it'll go. Right, Nurse? It's true. So pea chicks get their flight feathers very quickly and at a very young age. So they're not like chickens in that way. So they'll be popping around the brood or like popcorn before you know it.
magic house that I built last year. Here we go. For some reason, we can't find the power washer, so we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way with the house. We did clean it out after we moved the peacocks. I remember that. Full of cobwebs and disgusting stuff. I don't think we need that either. They even have a little perch in here. That Brody built them. Uh. Little garden trays underneath that captures all the poop and then we can clean it pretty easily. Maybe someday version 2.0 will come. Not today. <laughs> I think they're hungry. Change of drivers! Whoa! Maybe I should put on the parking brake because I can't do the first. All set. We're not going to put them in. Here we go. Moving the bubbas. We're going to the barn. Don't let her eat the last one, please. Hermes likes his new friends. And everyone seems to like their house. Both their old house and their new house. It is currently, look at Albie. <laughs> it is currently at a hundred on the dot. Supposed to be about 95. 95, but they do have room to get away, you know. Pea chicks are way more fragile, actually, than chickens are. Uh, I'm not sure why, but it explains why, why you don't buy peacock meat at the supermarket, because they're a lot harder to raise. Wow, that is crazy. And Scout is visiting his new friends from below. Scout is entirely under there. Albie is looking on somewhat concerned. Scout. <laughs> Little psycho. Scout, stop being mischievous. Scout, get out from under there. We have a little situation. Nothing bad. He's stuck? Do you see him? Yeah, he's stuck. He's not stuck. He's, stuck and then he wants to he's play just with playing him. with them. Oh, well, so does the suit. Oh, my God. Get him out, get him out, get him out. They're going to, actually, this is not a good idea Mommy, at all. Mommy, calm guys. down. Calm down. But, I mean, seriously, it's not oh a good idea. Oh, my God, calm down. But not calm down. I'm, I'm perfectly calm. I just said move out. So, in order to keep Scout 
from getting under the peacocks, we put this stuff. These pine pellets for the donkey to keep this little criminal <laughs> from getting in there.